So yesterday, Apple has officially revealed the iPad mini 7th generation, and here it is. Psst, this is the iPad mini 6. Nah, but on a serious note, the iPad mini 7th is exactly the same as the 6, but just a spec bump. And I mentioned that on my iPad mini 6 review, you guys should just buy the mini 6 and call it a day because this has the A15 chip, which is the similar performance to an iPhone 13 Pro. And we all know the iPhone 13 Pro is good, but with the A17 Pro chip, which is the new iPad mini, that is the same processor found on the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. So it's powerful and it's gonna support Apple Intelligence. Even though still to this day, Apple Intelligence is still not out. I've been using the iOS 18.1 beta on my iPhone 16 Pro and it's cool. I love the Siri animation, Siri is more natural and I love the fact how it could be able to prioritize your emails, summarize notifications, it's cool but it's not really a game changer just yet and it's still in beta. We are still missing some features such as Jimoji, which is gonna allow you to create your very own emoji. Can't wait to test that out. But performance aside, what else is new? Well, you have support for the Apple Pencil Pro and this is an upgrade, but if you have an Apple Pencil 2, you will have to basically sell that or give it to Apple because it will not be supported on the new iPad mini 7. And that is pretty unfortunate considering how things didn't really change too much on the outside and the front facing camera is still on the portrait orientation opposed to the landscape on the newer iPads and everything else is practically the same. So I think Apple could have allowed support for the Apple Pencil uh, 2, but I think this is just Apple's way of phasing out the Apple Pencil 2 to get you to upgrade to the Pro, which is an upgrade. But it's still something that they could have easily had it supported still on the iPad mini. Uh, no face ID. I think now Apple should be able to incorporate face ID on the entire iPad lineup. It shouldn't be no way. We get into 2025 with Touch ID iPads and it's no knock to Touch ID. It's accurate, it's fast, it's nifty, but we should have face id man it it should not just be reserved for the ipad pros it should be for the air even the regular ipads and and most importantly the mini i think the mini should have it considering it's 500 dollars price tag we should have face id easy and just put in retro perspective on why this is such a big deal the upcoming iphone se4 it's gonna feature a brand new redesign it's gonna be a similar body to the iphone 14 and that's gonna have face id Moving away from the home button and everything, that's gonna have Face ID. And I forgot to mention, the SE4 is gonna start at $500. That's the rumored price tag. So that is pretty unfortunate though. We should have Face ID, easy. Even the screen, I mean, at least Apple could have increased the nits of brightness. This is still coming in at 500 nits of brightness. Same speakers, same weight, same thinness. It's literally exactly the same. Now you are getting some fresh new colors, which is the same exact colors as the iPad Air, which I did unbox all of the colors. So if you happen to pick up an iPad mini next week, you guys could just watch that video to get an idea which color you should go with. My wish list: I would love to see ProMotion. I would love to see Face ID. And that is it. I mean, I love this iPad, but it's like little nitpicks that kind of bothers me in a sense. Now, Apple did increase the storage, going from 64 base storage to 128, which is nice. But for media consumption and just casual web surfing, I like to use my iPad mini because it just fits within one hand. So I can easily hold this with one hand while you're laying down in bed, sitting down on the couch. This is a perfect companion to have right there on your nightstand or even by, I don't even know, your, um, your coffee table. This is an 8.3 inch display. All right, this is a massive display. The iPhone is practically seven inches. The 16 Pro Max is seven inches. So another inch, you basically have an iPad mini. So I am aware that this is a very niche device. Like you gotta really love small tablets to really appreciate this. But now of course you do have the cellular option, but Apple removed the SIM card tray. So no more of the SIM card tray. You will have to incorporate eSIM. And I think that's a downgrade. One of the main things that I love about having a SIM card on an iPad, you can just pop the SIM card in and keep it moving. Now with this, you have to maybe call up your carrier or maybe go through an online portal. It might be easier, but nothing beats physical. Like you just pop the SIM card in, pop it out when you don't need it. You don't even need to open up the device. 
and i understand it's to push security you know because having just the sim card tray on there anybody could just take your sim card out apple intelligence although it is nice to have on all my devices i'm going to just reserve that for my ipad pro which is going to support it my iphone also of course being the iphone 16 pro that's going to support apple intelligence and yeah i mean having it on my mini might be unnecessary so i'm going to skip the ipad mini 7 um the most i'm probably going to do is probably a shorts but other than that it's it's a incremental upgrade to say the least but right now this is the best time because you can go to apple certified refurb and pick up the mini 6 for 379 which is a steal and even cheaper you can go on amazon i'm sure they have it cheaper there the mini 6 is the best time to buy i mean it is it is the best time to buy this unless you want apple intelligence but other than that that is that is it <laughs> i highly encourage you guys to watch my ipad mini 6 review because essentially it's about the same so you may as well just watch that video to get an idea that video is a masterpiece. I'll throw a link in the description as well as a card on screen. And I think that is where I'm going to end out this video. Hope you guys found this one helpful. If it did, appreciate it with a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think. And subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this one. Peace.